start bending the thread over and wind from the head trap the tag end once you're in you can take your pair of scissors snip that off and we'll go back until the thread meets the hook bend right there just see it snagged a couple more wraps let let it hang first thing that we're going to do is tie in a tail uh, traditionally we use uh, hackle fibers that come from the uh, same hackle that we use for the wing tips so since we're showing how to do this uh, traditionally we'll we'll stick with these methods I also like to use moose hair fibers so what we'll do is just trim some of these excess fibers and we'll tie them in at the length that we want I used to be scared to tie my tails really long until I started looking at mayflies and then I realized how incredibly long some of the tails were up to two or three times longer than the body so don't be afraid to tie that tail in long you can see that that'll stand out really nicely once you get a few winds around there and cinch it down you'll come back up and then we can tie in our wings the wings are just going to be uh, tips of the hackle right there so we'll cut a couple of those off there's one and then we'll cut another one off here just like that now you may think the same thing that I'm thinking and that's uh, that that can get quite wasteful after a while and I would agree um, so uh, a good uh, alternative for that is teal flank feathers you just pull a couple of these out and you can use these for wing tips but uh, just for the sake of tradition we'll tie it the old-fashioned way so what you'll want to do is stand that wing up right there grab it with the thread pull it into position about as long as you want it to be and then do what I call a figure eight which is to wrap it around the other direction and then come back around the other direction again to make sure that it's nice and secure so once you know that that's not going anywhere you can come back in with your scissors clip that off and then we'll tie in the other wing which is just another piece of tip, tip of a hackle. So what makes the Adams a beautiful fly uh, is its symmetry. And um, one way that you can really uh, make your fly look aesthetically pleasing is to get the wing uh, material exactly the same and to flare it out uh, at an angle. If it's not flaring out for you, you can actually go in between the wings and get those to stick out or bring it forward and pull that wing forward with your thread. Just grab it and pull it forward. You can get that perfect angle that you want there. And then we'll come back to our tail. And this is where we get to wind in uh, the dubbed body. Um, some people uh, dub their bodies first and, and then uh, tie in their hackle, and some people tie in their hackle first. Um, it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other, whatever you're comfortable with. But we'll take this Adams rabbit fur or a hairlin dubbin, and uh, you can see here with the string and the tying wax, this will help adhere the material. So we'll put this on and you can just take little tiny pieces of it and just let it catch the thread and take your fingers and rolling one direction you can add a little bit of wax to your finger if you'd like and spin it one way until it's nice and tight we're forming kind of a, a thread of sorts with this dubbing material we'll scoot it up just take it and once it binds up there it'll it'll move freely along the thread and uh, you can 
begin at the back. And what we want to do is make a nice cone-shaped body. And we'll do that by tapering it up and up and up and up. If your thread gets too long, just wind your bobbin right up to the very edge so that you have There we go, we'll make our body nice. And what I like to do is wrap back around with a thread a few times just to secure that body because with this style of dubbing, the actual natural dubbing, it wants to come undone in the water. So I've learned my lesson there. Now we'll take a cape uh, with the brown. There's two different hackle uh, pieces that go in. There's a brown and there's also a grizzly. And We'll use our gauge to, uh, this happens to be a size 16 hook. You want to cut back to where the fibers are all the same and strip out just a little few of the fibers so that you have some of the stem to grab. Bring that right up in there and grab your hackle. Again, figure eight. Do the same thing with the grizzly. Come back and trim to where they're all even. We know they're going to be the same gauge. And we'll grab the hackle and wrap, wrap, figure eight. Well, it's nice and tight. The last thing you want is that hackle coming off while you're fishing the fly. It happened so many times to me. Take uh, the brown or whatever color you choose to go first. I don't think it really matters. You can get your thread out of the way if it's bothering you. You go grab the very end with the hackle pliers just like that till they're nice and flat on there. And you want to wind once, twice, moving your way forward, get in front of the wing, give it a couple more passes with the brown. Okay. When, that's, when you're satisfied where that's at there, you want to bring your thread around and grab the hackle. Make sure that you've cinched that thing down right to the hook. Then you can either pull off or cut off. It doesn't matter. And then we'll grab our other color, which is the grizzly, and we'll do the exact same thing now. This is where it gets interesting, where they'll want to mash uh, the hackle fibers. Uh, one will overlay the other. So I found that if you wiggle just a little bit, it will keep that fly looking really nice, and you won't smash the fibers as they're going through. So pull those wings where you want them, because if you don't, the uh, the hackle that you're winding around will just grab the wing and will come around like this. Grab the hackle again. One, two. I'm doing the same thing. I'm kind of twisting that thread through there so that it does not interfere or you get stray hackle fibers that are pinched down and kind of give it a tug and trim off. Now to finish, what we'll do is we'll bring the thread up, take your finger, pull back on the hackle, just like this with the head, and begin to wrap and make a nice little head on there. Okay, and once you're satisfied with that, Get your whip finisher, give yourself some space, start your whip finish tool with the hook, grab the other side, make your triangle, snug it up to the end, one, two, three wraps, I don't overdo my whip finishes, give it a nice pull, make sure it's nice and secure, and just touch your thread with your scissors. There you go. Now, when you look at your fly, you may see some stray hackle fibers that you're not really happy with. I see a few here. 
that I'm definitely going to